This is Senator Bernie Sanders. Recently, he introduced a bill named the Loan Shark Prevention Act, which would cap annual interest rates for credit cards at 15%. We have a situation, and this to me is not just an economic issue, it is a moral issue, where you have Wall Street and credit card companies charging people outrageously high interest rates. You go to Macy's, you go to Kohl's, you go to any large department mm -hmm. store, and they say, mm -hmm. hey, get our credit card. Well, you get their credit card. What you don't know is you're going to be paying something like 27% interest rates on that credit card. That's right. Bernie also makes this claim in a Medium.com post. If you get a credit card from a store like Macy's, Kohl's, or Lowe's, Stores like these are charging customers an average interest rate of more than 27%. And Bernie is correct. When I checked these stores, depending on your creditworthiness, your rate could be as high as 27.49%. And I think a lot of people don't even know it. They go into a store and they buy a refrigerator. They don't know that they're paying 26%. I don't think Bernie knows how credit card interest works because Bernie says, if you buy a $500 refrigerator from Lowe's or Home Depot on one of their credit cards, you will likely owe an additional $136 in interest. <laughs> yeah, he's f***ing clueless. Let's break this down. Bernie is saying that if you buy a refrigerator for $500 on a credit card that has a 27% APR, you will pay an additional $136, which is 27% of $500. Here's how credit cards actually work. Your credit card's annual percentage rate, or APR, is divided by 12, which is the number of months in a year. So if your APR is 27%, every month that you carry a balance, you are charged 2.25% interest. So if you buy a refrigerator under those terms, your first bill will show that you owe $511.25. That's the $500 cost of the fridge, plus $11.25 in interest. Now remember, 2.25% interest is added to your balance at the end of the month. However, as your balance decreases, so does the amount of money that you have to pay in interest. While your interest comes out to $11.25 for the first month, by month six, you'll pay $6.92. And by the 12th month, you'll pay $1.06 in interest. Bernie claims that on a $500 purchase with an APR of 27%, you will pay $136 in interest, but in reality, you will pay $76.10, which amounts to 15.216%. Plus, if you increase your payments at any time, you will ultimately pay less in interest. All Bernie did was add 27% to $500 because this is how he thinks credit cards work. What you don't know is you're going to be paying something like 27% interest rates on that credit card. That's right. No, that's wrong. The fact that Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez doesn't know this is very concerning, considering that she serves on the Committee on Financial Services and the Subcommittee on Consumer Protection and Financial Institutions. Not to mention that she studied economics in college. And let's not forget that Senator Sanders is running for president. Can you trust this man to shape an economic policy for the country if he can't even understand something as basic as an APR? The answer is, you can't. That's right. Thanks for watching, sharing, and hitting that like button. And be sure to share this video with the senator and the congresswoman. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, check out the links in the description, and check out these videos that you may have missed. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope to see you all next time.